Hi, my name is Bonnie Fitzgerald and I make mosaic art. <laughs> had the good fortune to be commissioned to create these mosaic columns for the picnic pavilion as a part of the park's recent renovation. Working closely with the Arlington County Department of Parks and Recreation and neighborhood stakeholders, we decided on a design that would come from a child's imagination. Actually, we created several designs. Each of the six columns is unique and tells a different story. I wanted the artwork to feel as though a child created them. And the only way to really see all the sides is using video, unless you are there in person. We go fishing. And how would you like catching one of these fish? My favorite part of the gone fishing column is the can of worms. One of my greatest childhood memories is catching fireflies. And I suspect that holds true for many of you. We anticipated lots of preschoolers coming to the park, and for them, a salute to transportation. We see the fire truck when entering the park and from the toddler play area. Catching butterflies puts a smile on everyone's face, and the children in the mosaic look so happy. And what kid doesn't dream about blasting off into outer space? Here we have it all, astronauts, shooting stars, asteroids, and aliens. Everyone enjoys music, and these children dancing around the column put a smile on everyone's face. We used large format high fire ceramic tiles for this project, and mostly cut them using a hand cutter and fitted more closely with tile nippers. Using the indirect face tape method, we placed our tessera over our scaled pattern onto contact paper sticky side up. Once happy with an area, we face taped it using a professional grade tape, and we worked on small sections and assembled later. We worked the pattern almost all the way around the column, knowing we would have to do fill-ins on site, but we built the mosaic flat in the studio. Once the column was finished, we cut it into puzzle pieces, carefully giving lots of registration marks and took lots of photos. This was very easy to transport to the job site. And once there, we tackled one column at a time. Because it was so important for the top two border rows to be even, we had to begin each column installation at the top rather than at the bottom, which is standard procedure. Also, there is a 2% slope to the floor of the pavilion, meaning each column is a slightly different size. Using lots of installation tricks, it took a couple of days and we had to work very methodically. I used only Laticrete products for this project, 254 Platinum Thinset and Permacolor Grout. One of the best things about this project is knowing the neighborhood is happy with the new park and my mosaics put a smile on someone's face every single day. If you're ever in the neighborhood of Fort Bernard, stop by and have a smile. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, life's a mosaic, you pick the pieces.